somewhat the Sigma and the Sigma male shit. It's getting like, yeah, maybe like a 5 out of 10. Next up, we got... Huh? Ohio. I, I would put this high. Still say this shit. Yeah. It's funny. What's up, guys? It is your boy, Big Ryan 16 back with another video drop. Hope you guys are having a good day, night, afternoon, whenever you guys are watching this video. And today, we're going to react to Gen Alpha Memes Tier List by Word Eye. Alright, so, um, he's doing a Gen Alpha Memes Tier List. So, I feel like this should be interesting, considering some Gen Alpha Memes are pretty are somewhat funny and then some are just like straight up brain rot like i ain't gonna lie when i say sometimes i don't even understand it i just think it's straight up brain rot so well, let's see what type of memes he puts on on like the s tier After many memes have been created right. throughout the decades, I think it's appropriate to say that some are good and some are so trash and they just miss the boat. Yep, I definitely agree with this. I definitely agree with this. Some, sometimes I don't even understand it myself. And, you know, I've been debating that, you know, a lot of these memes and a lot of these tricks... Like, are especially Skippity Toy, like, I somewhat find it funny now, but I still find it somewhat brain rot. Rank them 1 to 10 on a brain rot scale, 10 being the worst. So let's start with a classic, the TikTok Riz Party. Last year... Oh, yeah. At first, I thought it was cringe. Now, I somewhat is finding it funny, but so it's still somewhat cringe. Not gonna lie. Like, who who really makes a party for TikTok? Like, nobody is going at all. If you have Lil Dirk on the poster and you call that shit the TikTok Riz Party, your function is gonna be straight tumble. Like, even I won't go unless like like at least five of my friends are going. Sweet sixteen, right? And for whatever reason, people said it was the quote TikTok Riz Party. Party. And there was a video of these boys. Not gonna lie, one of these one of these guys look like one of my friends. Like one of my friends, like cousins from school. Like, like I said, not gonna hold you, bro. This someone looks like you. The amount of people, the amount of times I saw videos of someone calling him that on TikTok was very crazy. People are gonna be like, you are the number one attendee at the Riz party, or you are the chaperone, or some shit. It's gotten to the point where the boys at the quote riz party did interviews with people like it's getting serious yeah not gonna hold you the interviews were like i was like wow like not gonna hold you if i was like so like called uh turkish dale dingle and everyone kept calling me that in school i would honestly i would probably stop, stop showing up serious now i'm giving this one a three out of ten i mean yeah it makes no sense but it's All really right. not too bad i would probably put it in on this list. probably three probably four bruh even know how to say the name so uh, what yeah, this guy what meme is this number. and second of all why on god's green earth do people think this is funny it's just a chicken nugget oh it's one of, it's one of these type of videos In worst way possible. just an ai video of someone singing and then their mouth okay this is exactly what i've been waiting for this is exactly i don't mean to sound like cat williams but this is exactly what i've been waiting for cook up at 4 a.m i'm not gonna play the video but i'll put b-roll of it on this okay screen. i see what I really do is just put this roblox face on random objects and call it content so yeah this is most definitely getting one eight out of ten on the brain rot scale like i genuinely uh oh wait the lower it is the low the okay you fell but yeah off, I, yeah i, I don't understand that meme jesus christ all right but you, you fell off bro <laughs> And basically what this meme is, is fell off. just type up a comment like, oh, you only got 10k views in an hour, bro fell off. You're obviously going to have periods where your channel is down. It's part of being... Yeah, my channel's down down right now, so I kind of, I'm not going to lie when I say I kind of fell off right now. But some people really bust out the magnifying glass, start looking at all your numbers, and they're like, oh, well, um, you average this amount of views, but um, <laughs> actually, you only got this amount on this video. Like, bro, shut the hell up. <laughs> you <laughs> for my YouTube studio. Like, I don't need you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now. Like I already see this shit on YouTube Studio. I don't need you calling it out. It's been three minutes. I should be on Jimmy D level. I just got to tee up, I guess. Next up, we got the uh, meme song parodies. Yeah, these absolutely suck. There is a. Is he talking about the AI ones? Parody. You know what, guys? I'm dropping this whole YouTube thing, bro. I'm gonna become a skibbity parody creator. I'm gonna make bank. Hell no, they just cooking up straight dog ass in the studio. Sometimes I have to listen to an artist. I have to give him a second try, and I'm like, okay, maybe he'll grow on me. One of the lyrics is. 
literally oh my god play <laughs> oh my god We're playing fortnite not giving this a second listen this one's getting a six out of ten i've seen this before with like minecraft parodies and i forgot to rank the last ones so i'll give it like a three out of ten next up we got mewing mm. this one is oh my god mew <laughs> the amount of people i see <laughs> talk about mewing is i found like the mewing meme very like very interesting like i don't find it somewhat funny but i find it somewhat interesting that they've been locked in mewing friends want to hang out nope got a mew girlfriend wants to call too busy mewing your mom said dinner's ready dinner can wait mewing first yeah i gotta mew that people have entire playlists for this shit they just sit there listen up so here's my favorite song for mewing minutes straight the one time i showed my face on camera i can't name a song because i don't move a mew jawline bro's been mewing even though i've never mewed once in my life all right this one's getting maybe like a four or five out of ten because right. i swear to god some people just don't even know the meaning of it and we'll just use it blindly lebron you are my sunshine <laughs> you are my sunshine you are my sunshine you make me happy when skies are i don't even know the words <laughs> Shit. And pretty much what it is, is uh, it's just people glazing LeBron and like making edits for him. I don't know. And not gonna hold you on I say sometimes even I like you know a somewhat dick right LeBron. I am gonna lie. Sometimes even I dick right LeBron. This whole meme is kind of just weird to me, bro. I don't know. I think this one was pretty recent. And then people also made evil LeBron. Yeah, this one's um like a five the amount of course next up we got Skibbity Toilet. And what would this video? Oh yeah, he's gotta talk about Skibbity Toilet. I feel like this is like the def like the the top one like Gen Alpha meme. It's either this or literally any like meme that involves AI like um AI and parody music. Not gonna lie, when I when I was thinking he was when he, he started talking about parody music, I thought he was gonna talk about like the AI ones. Like, I was thinking he was gonna talk about that, but alright, now we're gonna go to Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> be without skibbity toilet this thing is the pinnacle of brain rot at this point people have told me in the comments oh but the story of skibbity toilet is really good i'm just struggling to figure out yeah what story okay the story the story the story the lore it's pretty interesting the videos toilet song over and over again and it just makes me think like does this show have any words in it i don't know i have so many questions i mean this shit is the pinnacle of brain rot right here kids are pretending to be skibbity toilet i've mentioned this so many times I sound like a broken record, but I think that's enough to say if kids are pretending to be a toilet Yeah, I think it's rotting people's brains. I think that's enough. To yeah, say. have you guys seen the amount of kids parties that that have been evolved around um Skippity toilet animations to basically like, how, how, how does that even work like we have minecraft we have minecraft type of parties we have we type of parties but why are we getting skippity toilet and it's gotten to a point where this has made its way into memes and that's why i'm giving this john yeah solid nine out of ten it's really bad but at the end of the video it gets really bad next up we oh no what is it smurf cat i really don't know how the fuck okay this one's very old all right ai generated smurf that's kind of what it Honestly, is. I don't even think this one's that bad. I didn't even see it that much. I'm not gonna lie, it does. Like, I saw this Murph cat for about a week, and then... It is now a part of those brain rot YouTube shorts. It's going on screen right now. What makes these shorts so popular? There's so many better creators than YouTube shorts, yet these are the ones that go viral. Never did I expect in a million years... Oh, he's... People still do... Content in 2024. Maybe it's just me, but I... Okay, maybe it's just me, but I honestly don't see it. Bear trash can. Yeah, you guys and my editor probably think I'm schizophrenic right now, but I'm not even trolling. Like, Is this another YouTube shorts type of meme out of a trash can at a park? What the fuck? Literally anything can become a meme at this point. You give it enough buzz, boom, the internet's taking it by storm. I just googled it, and here it is. The Tidy Bear Animal-Shaped Trash Can. I okay, I gotta research after, because this might be another one he just saw on YouTube Shorts, because... Absolutely not. I tried to get a little bit educated. Maybe I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand this. I don't understand this one. When the teacher starts putting letters in math, like that shit's some hieroglyphics. But hey, you know what? Humor is subjective. Maybe people piss their pants laughing when watching. 
watching this. I don't know. Yeah, this one's getting an 8 out of 10. I can't even formulate words after watching this shit. Next up, we got Edging. I'm glad this one's starting to die. Oh. oh God, this shit was annoying. Because that type of thing is like, you know, if you're old enough to know, you're old enough. Not gonna I would put this under 8. Explain it. Because a lot of people start randomly just started saying edging or edge like people say this in the comments on youtube videos tiktok videos like look they say they're edging to said video this one is weird imagine got a mr beast video we got erm what the sigma um what the sigma apparently what this is is a voice clip of somebody doing a squidward impression saying what the sigma yeah this one i would put this under skippy toilet yeah this one's like very sad a lot not gonna lie a week ago even though this has been around for a couple months at this point and of course you can't forget the sigma male memes as well with patrick bateman and the joker these dudes think they're in their villain arc the whole sigma male thing's been around for a fat minute erm what the sigma and the sigma male shit it's getting like yeah maybe like a five out of ten next up we got i, I, I would put this high still say this shit yeah it's funny the fact that people are still saying like ohio <laughs> I would somewhat say I was finding, like, the Ohio memes, like, somewhat funny in, like, what, 2022? But the fact that it's been two years and people are still saying, like, Ohio, like, yeah, down in Ohio. Yeah, so I don't, like, the fact that that meme is still, is still, like, I don't know, relevant is just, like, how do you guys still find that shit funny? The poor souls who actually live there probably deal with people constantly saying, like, bros from Ohio. Please just yeah, like, I feel bad for the people who this live in Ohio. Ahead. Like, this damn, an eight out of ten. Next up, we got the bill collector. I didn't really know what to call this one. Basically, what it is, people show a video of an animal just walking around or doing its thing, and people put like captions about bro not paying his bills and not getting a job or some shit. It'll say something like this video right here, blood is is not escaping paying bills what meme is this Weird combination of noises i have ever heard in the background if i'm caught watching some shit like this like this sounds like some, like some type of tiktok like um i said tiktok twitter type of meme so dumb like everyone just like engages like tweeting i think i just gotta let it just marinate and just slowly kill my brain don't let it cook don't don't let it cook don't let it cook because in history books 30 years later my son's gonna ask me what the hell does blog mean and what is a bill collector and i'm gonna have to explain it to him yeah this one's getting a 7 out of 10 and some of you might be like wait you've never uh, given a meme a 10 out of 10 uh, uh, i i, I would what's the 10 out of 10 well you will never be the same again yeah what is it what is videos. it lanky box oh my god they take characters and i respect the person the people whoever eddie link linky box videos but the amount of brain rot in it is like very crazy. Artist, amazing digital circus, and poppy playtime quizzes. But first, we'll study by facing the amazing digital circus in real life and watching it. What the f is this? Like when I first saw like the Linky Box videos on TikTok and Twitter, and then just actually decided to watch a video, I'm like, I respect the person who edits it, but I'm like, can something stay on screen and not like be randomly moving for about at least five to ten seconds? The memes that are popular with kids, and they just make it ten times worse than it yeah, like, was. Years later, there's gonna be studies about Lanky Box affecting children's development. I'm telling. Honestly, you, I wouldn't be shocked. Taking over YouTube at this point, but if you want to find out how YouTube really was back in the day, then click on this video right here. Guys, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, uh, if you guys want me to actually watch that video, please tell me in the comments because, like, I really want to start reacting to more wordy slash birdie videos. But, but yeah, oh my god, guys, guys, I, I should probably react to like a linky linky box video for like a video or like a video for this channel or, or, or for the second channel because just oh god, trust me, guys, when I tell you, you guys are really gonna cringe. Honestly, not gonna lie, when I said I feel like um, uh, Skippity Toilet or what the segment should probably been on a 10, not gonna lie. Because those are more like, I would probably say those p appear more as cringeworthy memes than, you know, Linky Box, not gonna lie. But I feel like a lot of people actually haven't seen Linky Box or seen a video from Linky Box unless they see it on TikTok or something like that. Yeah, overall, I still agree with most of these. I, I, I somewhat still agree with most of these other than like the, the um, um, the Skippity Toilet one. But yeah, there is, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe the bell on us again if I win. I upload a new video comment. What do you guys want me to react to next? So anyways, that was the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oops.